What up, family? Get a new supporter, Mary and Dad's twin, Mary and Lee. Today's Move Monday in my city, Chicago. I got 255 over here, and as you know, Wednesday is my B day. Today is Moon Monday. So, accommodate me. Ain't that what Malcolm X said when he told West Indy Archie to play? The lottery for him. He said, combinate me. Um, today is allegedly supposed to be a, a used to be friend of mine's uh, by the name of Doris. Her birthday is uh, May 23rd today. Um, you know, one thing about me, I'm uh, first of all located 6210 South Kimbark Avenue, Chicago, North 6063. Seven. It's a trap building. I thought I'd get uh, my little story ending out the way. Right here in my window, it's got, we accept Davis vision. I care. Referred. Vision benefits. Over here. It has, we support American veterans. And I got, it's chaos, be kind. So, you know, a lot of people would like to say I haven't done nothing for my country or the world, my city, Chicago. Yeah, Melvin Blue Nose got a song. If you don't know me by now, you would never know me. You know, I wore this shirt that I got from the Bud Billiken parade a few years back. You know, I was so busy working, I never was able to attend. And when I was able to attend, you know, they gave me a shirt a couple of times or whatever and stuff. And I was going to get this shirt. Well, my today I was gonna go get this. Uh, I was looking for Jay Z, Best of Both Worlds, and you know they didn't have a CD at the place on Belmont or whatever. Then you know on the way back, you know, some told me to check my phone, and I already had it. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm saying, but I would have liked the you know original. You know, um, I had some guy, a black guy, he was at um, Swap Around on 41st in uh, Ashland, selling CDs. They railroaded him out of there. I guess he was making too much money. I used to be there, and they kind of railroaded me out of there, too. And it was the colored people, black people, whoever, that made sure that happened. And they stole my gun that was under the seat. You understand what I'm saying when I was there? And I never reported it. And the game, the rapper, he said he got shot with his own gun. So now that I know how this works, they just pretty much, you know, tell people how they going to kill whoever it is. Me, more than likely. You understand what I'm saying? Because I am the originator of rap music. And, you know, I stood up for myself, of course, you know, at the age of six in 1973. Because of child abuse. Now, I don't know what my mother, Mary Lee... Right, if that was my mother, did for me to, um, you know, remain in this world or this city, Chicago, this hell, you know, called North America or whatever and stuff, you know. But whatever she did, you know, it worked because I came full circle with my story. I was gonna buy this, uh, this other CD. When I was at, I think it was called Reckless Records on Belmont. You get off on Belmont. And, you know, uh, it was a blues CD. I had, you know, I just kind of randomly did like this to see what I picked, right? And I had $7 in my hand, right? And it was a variety of blues. And it was the guy who sold his soul to the devil. A black guy, y'all know who he is. I'll put him in the description. 
And, you know, I wanted to buy the CD. I said, hmm, somebody read my, my pockets or my money. And, you know, I usually don't think about blues or whatever and stuff like that. Because, you know, blues is not all right with me. But that's that down sound stuff. So, you know, I just wanted to see. And I'll be doggone. They say the first guy who sold who uh sold his soul to the devil for blues or whatever. Yeah. He kinda looked like me. You know, a native of the land. You know, not an African, not a white person, you know. And I wanted to buy it, so I was like, you know, can I get it for seven? The white girl, she had a tattoo on her face. A sword. I said, hmm, that's interesting. And, um, you know, she just thought I was going to get it. And I had, I said, well, let me see what I, let me try it again. You know, did my look. And they had a bunch of CDs. And the second one was by this one guy. He, you know, looked like my people. It was $3. And it had Mary Me on, on it. I said, you think she had married me? Now, I've already married the girl of my dreams, LaWanda Joy Jacobs. Okay, now, well, the. Well, not my dreams, but I was already married in my mind before they came out with gay rights. See, my higher power, always ahead of time or on time or, you know, whatever the case. You know, and I was just trying to see how a girl was thinking or whatever and stuff. And, you know, she was just trying to get a sale. And I understand. You understand what I'm saying? And I was like, you know, she was like, no, it's going to be about seven seventy for the blues. And, you know, that's the one I had kind of wanted or whatever. I think it was named, what is his name, Robert or some something? I don't know. I'm going to figure it out. I'll put it in the description. I was like, you know, I just thought about all them CDs that I gave, you know, away or uh, people have stolen out of the back of my car, you know. And I was like, damn, I can't even get a damn CD, you know what I'm saying, for $7. And I didn't did two magic tricks in front of her, if that's what you want to call it. And the money was seven dollars in my hand exactly, and the CD was seven dollars. Now I was like, okay, don't worry about it. But I did buy a CD from the other store next door to them. See, they right next door to each other, and they not beefing and all that. Two CD shops right next door. You know why? Because nine times out of ten, you know what I'm saying? It's free money. So I got this one. It was a uh, $3.99. Arrested Development. You see the color? It's green. Like my um birthstone. May is uh green. Like the leaves and the trees. And you know, this is beautiful, right? The greenery. Emerald green. Like money. You understand what I'm saying? That's probably why I like green. You understand what I'm saying? Like oh money. You understand? Long story short. You know, that's kind of the city I kind of wanted because of Africa and the best of both worlds and, you know, all that. But then I go on 47th Street to the um, to the black people. It used to have Tupac picture in the window. They took it out. So somebody some just told me, go in there. And I went in there and, of course, they had his shirts and stuff like that and a whole bunch of shirts. But they had DMX, you know, in the window this time. You understand what I'm saying? Um, I went into one store, 323. That's when my mother, Mary Lee Wright, allegedly supposed to have died March 23rd or whatever. Case, you know, she probably just wanted to get away. Okay, cool, no problem. I understand. I'm not slow, okay? But, um, yeah. You know, they say game is to be sold, not so. And I said, if I figure it out, you understand what I'm saying? Then you definitely owe me. You understand what I'm saying? And as long as you owe me, I'll never be broke, right? Now, they say ain't no rules to it, so they just kind of make it up as they go along. That's what I'm starting to figure out. But I got my own plans, and I'm not telling. Um, Let me see. So I went in this one store. It had Jordan Pitcher, signed Pitcher. We, he won a um, trophy, and he was crying on the trophy. And he had Biggie Smalls. This is the 323 gym shoe out. You let on 47 or whatever. 
life after death. And I took a picture, you know, I was like, okay, let me get out of here. And then I went to the black lady, you understand what I'm saying? I bought this umbrella right here. Now, it says, I love Chicago. You know, got the heart or whatever. Now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You know what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the rainbow color right here. Now, quiet as kept. This uh, umbrella I got for four dollars at the at the flea market. See, that's the devil. That's the devil calling. Let me uh, yeah. I got this one for four dollars. You understand? Without the sleeve, this is the sleeve to this one. You understand? What I'm saying nothing happens in this world by mistake. You gotta excuse the the haters. Um, and it's three oh four. Now, I got this one for four dollars, and I, it didn't come with a sleeve, right? You understand what I'm saying? They try to make it seem like gay people are nasty or something. You understand what I'm saying? I don't know, but I'm gonna make this the rainbow colors: red, orange, yellow, brown, pink, green, blue, and purple. So purple is the O, right? For Oprah Winfrey, the color purple, right? I mean, I'm just trying to keep it real. They had a shirt also. Um, with Michelle and Oprah on it, and they had friends, and they were smiling or whatever. They looked at happy. Okay, cool. I thought they said the shirt was ten dollars. They may have been talking about the umbrella though. And um, by the time I got there, she had the shirt already out. I didn't know she took the shirt out the, um, you know, plastic, because it was one on the wall. I heard her say, you know, you know. The one on the wall, you know, show her the one on the wall. Then they changed their mind and she took it out the plastic. I didn't tell her to. You understand what I'm saying? Come to find out the shirt was $14.99. It's a black lady, of course. Older lady. Don't need money. Just, you know, probably just, you know, something to do, right? Because no matter how much money you got, you still got to, you know what I'm saying? You still got to uh, do something with your life, right? So, this was a... I said, well, you know, I didn't want to go back and forth. And, you know, the guy that was working for her wasn't my people or whatever and stuff. And, you know, I just, you know, everywhere I go trouble for me. So I didn't want to be in no trouble, you know, because black people do the most as it is. And I'm on 47. So I'm like, okay, I tell you what, just give me. I said, how about I take the shirt that's open? Because, you know, she was making it seem like it was a big idea or whatever. I said, well, you took it out the place. Well, I give you, this, you know, how about a shirt for $10? And, you know, the umbrella for $10, okay? And she was like, uh, no, I can't do that. I said, okay, well, I just buy the umbrella. You understand what I'm saying? Real talk. Now, mind you, I got a shirt on that I got from the Bud Billiken Parade for free, if that's what you want to call it. You know, I put work in, so I ain't nothing free, right? Time is money and all that, you know, woo out the band. I earned it. Let's put it like that. And I was like, okay, let me get this. So she charged me $11 and some change, okay? A dollar and something tax, okay? They don't even pay tax. Stuff probably free, left over for so so much because we was making so money back, back in the day when they had me on the chain. They got a lot of surplus, okay? So they getting free money, get free tax, free everything. Okay, cool. This is my wrap-up of my day, of my story, my life. You understand what I'm saying? When I first came in the neighborhood with Donna Marie Evans, my ex-girlfriend, Italian Stallion, banker, real estate agent, I used to be right down the street. It used to be a hospital called High Park Hospital. Um, I was right next door to it. And I know that's my building because I got my birthday in that also. Long story short, I'm the originator of rap music. For those who don't know, I asked for $2 million tax-free. In 1995, I ain't realized how much I was worth, let alone, you know, knew that I was the originator of rap until I really started thinking because they keep you working, 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 and they abuse you. And, you know, by the time you come to yourself, you know, which they never expected, you know, you realize you'd have been fucked again. Okay. And so, yeah, I go again. So the lady, you know what I'm saying? I paid her the tax and everything. I walked out and. You know, of course, you know, I wasn't happy and stuff, but because all I really wanted 
was the sleeve. You understand what I'm saying? Because, you know, gay people are not nasty. But people come over here and dirty us up. Like Tupac say, trying to dirty up our name. I got this uh, sticker today. It says, you only gave us rights because we gave you riots. Bullshit. You understand? It took every right from me and stuff. We, I try to make a smooth transition for the next generation or this generation, the millenniums. You know what I'm saying? They said uh, Americans are first in prison and last in education, which means I had to really grind from the age of 41 to almost 55. I'll be 55 Wednesday to figure out what they did to me. And I mean, I had to put away all my differences, my resentments, if I had any, which I did not. All they had to do was stand up. But of course, they just trying to make it seem like they won. OK, you won if that's what you want to hear and stuff, you know, but I know and my higher power know that's a lie. So I ain't going to even lie. You lost motherfuckers and shit. Now, the guy in the in the store said, don't open up the umbrella. That's bad luck. I said, that's only if you believe that. You understand what I'm saying? So this is open. You understand what I'm saying? And I always, when I come in, I open it up so it can... I say I haven't had really no bad luck unless people give it to me. I don't have bad luck. I don't believe in that. I believe people are the reason for bad luck. See, the song by Hail Mary and Blue Notes, you know, bad luck. I said, no, it's not. Bad luck is people. People, you understand what I'm saying? Meaning... People that walk and talk, you understand what I'm saying? Even though they might be savage or whatever, not my people, they people. So on the way back, you know, I get off the bus on 47 in um, Lake Park in Stony Island. And the bus driver going to tell this one guy, you know, who I am. Because they try to act like they don't know. And he going to be like, you got a light. You know, and I'm looking at the bus driver and ignoring him. He said it about three times, and I ignored him three times. I mean, I'm looking at the bus driver because I'm like, I know what you're doing. You understand what I'm saying? I'm trying to get set started. So, you know, I waited for the bus or whatever. Then I or walked a little bit, waited for the bus, walked. You know what I'm saying? You know, just trying to, you know, end stuff. Bottom line. I sold umbrellas in this area, High Park. Ten dollars before I hit the Red Lion train selling merchandise, which means my favorite saying is "Don't shit on me and say it's raining." I came up with that. I came up with the spelling Chicago S H E C A R G O. Don't shit on my goddamn city and shit and act like you don't remember and shit. Real fucking talk. I sold a bunch of these this size for about they call jumbo umbrellas for about ten dollars. You understand what I'm saying? And I would give a person a deal if they didn't have it. You understand what I'm saying? Real talk. So to charge me tax and woo out the bam, give me a hard time, you know, it's like, you know, if that's how you want to go out, cool, no problem. When the bad luck hits your ass, don't look for me because this scripture is for all the people who supported me, even though I gave you a better deal and you robbed me in the end because they ain't through. Believe me, that phone call when, you know, haters, you understand what I'm saying? But anyway, they don't want me a part of the fucking history books and stuff. They just wanted to use me up. I got two quarters over here that I got from my change, and they both say 1987, which means it's always going to be a clone. You understand what I'm saying? Real talk. Now, the people that was a part of the story coming up, you know, I felt as though they was going to be there for me. In the end, they wasn't because you never know another person greed. You understand what I'm saying? For real, I'm not a greedy person. Two million dollars tax free wasn't nothing from all of what I'd have been through. Talk about rights. They violated all my rights. They violating my rights now. You understand what I'm saying? They trying to intimidate me. I don't care. I don't care about that. You know what I'm saying? I don't care about nobody. Don't I'm, when I'm out there, I'm, I'm invisible. I'm in this world by myself. I've always been by myself. It's just people came around me to, you know, benefit off of me and stuff, and they still robbing me. I'm worth at least a zillion. I believe when I die, the whole world will end, and I hope to God is true. So this is for the people who, you know, really did appreciate me and didn't, um, you know, I don't, I don't think there's nobody out there to tell the truth. 
they appreciate me for real, for real, to tell you the truth. Now that I really think about it, uh, because I never, I never operated like this before. This, so it's kind of new to me. So that's why I'm kind of like confused or whatever and stuff. And I'm not really confused. It just it don't make sense. It's stupid, for real. So you know, the shirt that I had on that that I got from the Bud Billy Parade, I took it to High Park School where Barack Obama went, and they building the um whatever for him or whatever and stuff. You know, if it weren't for me. He would have never made it or whatever and stuff. But I left that shirt right there to let him know. It ain't the first time I gave the shirt off my back. You understand what I'm saying? And they have stolen a whole lot of stuff. When I left today, this girl had the jacket on that I gave away. I said, hmm, that jacket looked familiar. I didn't say, where you get that jacket from? You know what I'm saying? If I give you some, or I put it out for you to have. But when you steal my stuff. Oh, I feel I'm, I have to be forced to give my stuff away, and I don't want to, because not a lot of times I don't want to. It's just it's, this place is small, and I'm gonna throw away a lot of more shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm just gonna do me. So basically, they don't want me to have nothing, not even me. So don't talk to me. I can't do nothing for you. I do what I can. You understand what I'm saying? I try to support colored people, but of course, they don't remember that. So I'm gonna have selective memory too, or I'm not gonna hear you. So, you know, when I go dumb, I go dumb for real. So, you know how it go. This ball right here is supposed to be the six, but somehow another came up missing, you know, trick of the devil. And, I, you know, I'm a, um, so this is like the wrap up of my life and shit. I came full circle and I was going to buy that shirt with, but I had bought a shirt for $10. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, I ain't got no shirt with me on it. So, you know, ain't. I'm tired of investing in other people. You know what I mean? So let's see how much bad luck we gonna have. All right, I ain't going by myself. See the blue? It's two, and the white people, which means I'm going with you too. If I die, we all die. So I guess that's that's the bad luck. Real talk. My name is Mary Lee Davis. Not right. A lot of people sold themselves out and, you know, went with the white people. Got nothing to do with me. You understand what I'm saying? My name is actually Mary Lee. And if I say Davis, I put a Z on the end. Real fucking talk because there's too many clones and shit. All right. Let's see what it say. Okay. Look at that. Six, seven, and eight. And this is part five. This is Amos. 806. My fault. Uh, and I got my glasses on. Hold on. 8, 8, 8, 16 and uh, 8, 7, 8, 17. I gave Oprah Winfrey my child abuse rap at the age of 17. I be became the originator of rap at the age of 8. So it's 5, 6, 7, 8. Uh, 5 is over here. So we're going to flip it. We can do 4, 5. Six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay, it stops at nine. So, hey, I don't want to be famous. I want my money, property, prestige, or whatever. I just want what's mine. If not, I want everybody to die for my birthday. And if I have to die also with it, then let it be. You understand what I'm saying? But don't shit on me and say it's raining. Real talk. You see the six, seven, eight, and this is definitely five over here. So they're going to read it too. And it ends on 27. My um, mother, allegedly, Mary Lee Wright, was born in 1927. You understand what I'm saying? And if she wasn't my mother, then that's the role she played. And I don't turn my back on people who was there, you know, a little bit in my life. You know what I'm saying? We all could have been billionaires, but that was too much like right. So with that, this you got a news pulling me. That's Twin Mary Lee. It is 328. I gave my story in 1995 at the age of 28 also. Peace.